Hi, my name is Philip and I'm a software developer at Trestronic. Today I will show you how you can run tests interactively using ECU Test Drive. So let's go! ECU Test Drive is a web app and it can be executed in any Android or iOS tablet or smartphone. On the main screen you can see the currently opened projects and packages. If you select a package, you can see the package description, which also can contain images like here. This package at first has a little summary of what we have to do. So we will check the interior and exterior turn lights today. If I hit continue now, we can see that currently the engine RPM speed cannot be red. But as soon as we start the engine, we will see that the current value is shown here. If I press the gas pedal, we can also see that the value changes very fast. Now we have to wait for 5 seconds until this test step is finished. The second step is to press the hazard light button over here. And the expectation, printed in orange, is that both interior turn lights are flashing. As they do, we can now rate this test step with success. Now we have to wait until the engine has run 60 seconds. We can see here the engine RPM speed again. Now the test is asking me um, to go outside the car and check the six flashlights. So I would say we'll just do it. Now I use ECU test drive on my smartphone and you can see that it's the same test step as the one inside on the tablet. Here the interface is optimized for small screens, so you will have to swipe to rate with success and failed. I will go around the car now and check the flashlights. So now the last test step of this test has finished and you can see the final result of the test here. We have nine test steps that had a rating, so the rating was success and 11 other test steps. We can now press home and are back on our home screen. So this was a very simple example, but normally you don't want to execute one test case, but several ones. For this you can use projects. Over here you can see uh, executions which have been done yesterday or the day before. Uh, you can continue them, you can review them and you can see the uh, evaluation of the test. You can also create a new execution, what we will do now, and you can filter them. For example, here we have the assigned tester. As I mentioned, I am Philip, so I will take this one. And we are standing on a car, car lot, so we will choose minimum speed zero here, um, as the car is only standing. And we see that the test case here is filtered. We can now select it explicitly or we can just execute all test cases that are displayed here. When we were executing ECU test drive in the car, ECU test itself was running in the background all the time and executing the test. Now as we are back in the office, we can upload the test results to our test management system. We can first check the report, which is usually located in your test reports folder in your workspace. In the report you can see for every single step the result and the timestamp when this step has been executed. For example you can see here that the engine speed was 832.5 rpm when this test step here has been rated with success. You can also see that we have started a recording and stopped it, which can be found here in this folder of your test report. In this case, it's called recording.asc. To upload this to your test management system, you just have to go 
to File, Export, Results and select either your test management system or for example test guide. Here you can choose the corresponding folder, you can select all folders too and then just hit the upload button. After that your test results will be transferred into your test management system. Now I will show you how to create an interactive test using ECU test. At first we will create a new package in the Workspace Explorer. Let's call it Hazard Light 2. The first test step is an image dialog. It was the summary in our test case. I can insert it for example using Easy Insert, pressing Shift twice and searching for image dialog. As a description we had test summary, check interior and exterior turn lights. I will just write test summary here. After that you can choose any image file you want. In this case I choose this car top. After that you can configure the buttons. We had one continue button as we don't care about the result. But you can give every button a return result and evaluate it later in your test case. The next test step was a user instruction and we wanted the user to start the car. To verify this we wanted to check the engine rotation speed. At first we recreate the block. And here please make sure that you, that you tick this checkbox. Otherwise the block will not be shown when the test is executed interactively. Below that block we have one signal and we want to evaluate that the engine RPM is equal to 800. To do this we have to load our test configuration. In the test configuration the bus database is defined. As soon as we have loaded it, we have a bus access tab at the top of the Workspace Explorer. If we press on it, we can see a list of every bus signal which is defined in the database. We can search for engine RPM. And with a right click we can insert a read test step in ECU test. Below here uh, this is the evaluation part. We want to check, to check that it is equal to 800 and we have a tolerance of let's say 100. Like this, this is a one-time check. To make sure that the user has time to start the engine we have to set a time option. So we could for example wait 30 seconds until this value is reached. After that we had another user instruction and we had an expectation. So we add a new block, write the user instruction and here in this box you can write the expectation which will be shown in orange in your test case. Again make sure to tick this checkbox. You now have to unwrap this block as this one is wrapped into this one. If you minimize this one you can see that your second block is gone. To do this you can press Control down for example. At next we want to test two conditions at once. We don't care about whether condition A or B is fulfilled at first. For this we can take a multi-check. So let's just insert the next user instruction. You can add the multi-check test step easily from the sidebar on the left. You can here choose if you want every test step to be fulfilled 
or at least one test step. And below that, you can make sure that we wait until the condition is true. Again, we want to wait at least 60 seconds to give the user time to fulfill this condition. Now we have created a multi-check and we add the two signals in it. You can just do it by drag and drop. And again, we want to check that the engine is up and running with a tolerance of 100 RPM. The second signal was the time since the engine start to make sure that the engine is running at least 60 seconds when the test is executed. Again, you can drag and drop it or make a right click to read this test step. Here you evaluate that the value is at least 60 seconds. Finally, we wanted the user to check all exterior turn lights. For this, we can use a loop. The loop can be inserted from the sidebar on the left again. We wanted to have six repetitions and we have to save the counter in a variable. Below that loop, we can insert a user instruction and we can place this variable in curly braces. This way ECU test will replace the name of the variable with its value during the test case. We can also add an image uh, in the parameter text field. The image path can either be absolute or it can be relative to your workspace. So here we are on our workspace folder and we can now choose the image car turn lights to give the user a little hint which turn light has which number. That's it. This is the test case. If you want to record signal, you can go to signal recording and just drag your engine RPM into this folder. After that, you will have to select Auto Start Complete Test Case in the context menu. And now we can start the test. By the way, you can now have a look at your test in ECU Test Drive by starting Drive from the bottom left of your screen. You can open the dialog by pressing the smartphone icon, start the server, and after that, you can either scan the QR code or you can just press the link to open Drive in your browser. Here you see your test case. One last thing, if you want to provide its description, you can do it in the Properties tab of your package. You can just write plain HTML into this text box over here. And for example, this is the description we have seen in the car. If you want to include your package into a project, you will do this as the following. You create a new project. And now you can add the packages you want. If we go back to ECU Test Drive now, we can just see that the project is opened and that we can create new executions. Or we could continue previous one. 
This is how you can create interactive tests using SEO test. I hope you enjoyed the video and wish you a nice day. Puschel ist back, yes. Regie, Wolken bitte. Wolken bitte. Warum kommt dieser scheiß Feinerwoll-Dialog jetzt hoch? Wenn ich die Maus hier nehme, ne? dann geht's nicht. Warte, erst sammeln, dann reden. Achso, dann hätten wir rausschneiden können, ne? Ja. Scheiße. <lacht> Wir machen nochmal Klappe. Das nicht. <lacht> so, Kack, Kackverkehr. Der kommt Fahrradfahren. Oh. <lacht> Mann, ey.